what are the dependencies for doing this specific machine learning example with scikit-learn? Once again, I'm on Windows 10 with Python 3.5 installed. And we're going to use IPython or Jupyter Notebooks for this tutorial series. If you want to follow along, make sure you pip install scikit-learn and uh, you do it correctly and also pip install matplotlib which we're going to use for plotting. Other dependencies may come along as we get deeper into this series. Also, I'll post these IPython notebooks on my GitHub, so I'll link them in the description. Now, let's do our imports. First, we're going to import dataset. So, from sklearn datasets, import load breast cancer. Okay, um, then the first classifier or machine learning algorithm that we're going to test or use is KNN, so K nearest neighbor. So from SK learn neighbors, import K neighbors classifier. Then the train test split, which is used to split the data into training and test. As you might remember, I've, I've said in the previous video that we cannot tra train and test the classifier on the same subset of data, as it would yield 100% accuracy, and it may be inaccurate since it, it's not exposed to new data. So from sklearn model selection import train test split and finally for now we'll import matplotlib pyplot splt and we'll specify to display the graphs within the notebook with the magic command matplotlib and line okay now shift enter to run the cell so no error everything went okay now let's load our data set into a variable say cancer is load breast cancer a nice thing about cleaned and pre-processed scikit-learn datasets is that some of them have descriptions which we can access in the following way. So let me just print cancer D-E-S-C-R and run this. And we get a nice overview uh, and some, some details of this, um, this data set. So the references for the papers and descriptions, uh, summary statistics for each sample, as well as for the entire data set. And we're going to look into this clean version of the data set compared to a raw CSV version in the next video. And that raw CSV version is available on the internet. You can also use that one, so the raw version of this data set with scikit-learn, but you can use it with other machine learning libraries and programming languages as well. One thing is that you'll have to clean and ready the data yourself. So I guess that's it for this video. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.